Ooh, it's bright out here. So I tried talking in the house and Tucker um, had more to say than I did, I guess. So I'm trying it outside to see if we can, I can just get some key points across real quick. Um, and I'm not doing very good at it. And I got a lot to say. So, <clears throat> um, yesterday I asked the universe for help. And um, oh my! Um, so last night I was woke up um, about my boss, who that's a different, whole different thing, but um, with instructions about what to do. <clears throat> Or what not to do but it was so profound that I was awake two more hours um, which gave me time to look at things like my lymph gland flow and stuff because um, my immune system has been crappy um, I'm just running out of energy I'm trying to do everything that I know to do. I'm going to my doctor. I got the skin cancer, pre-cancer uh, stuff removed. They're blistering now. I peeled one off this morning by mistake. Yowza. Um, I got a lot going on health-wise. <clears throat> but I was searching for lymph lymphatic massages in Wichita and I came across um, this company um, and I solely went on I went on two things um, I could look at what they were <clears throat> what their schedule was like what type of massages I could get how busy they were and where it was and it turned out to be about one minute from my workplace. And so I went on faith and scheduled at 12 o'clock today because I feel so rotten. And um, now they just keep pushing, push, push. So. I got that set up and then Lena came and got me and I went back to bed for the rest of the night. At noon I go over there um, to this place. It's top notch. I could tell it was. Um, and the only thing open today that I could get in to see if I could get relief was um, the lymphedema body wrap, I guess. I can't remember. A body wrap where you, it's like a blood pressure cuff and it covers your feet and it just comes up and it's clear up to here. Yes, I took a picture, but uh, that's all I could get for 30 minutes today and I thought I've got to have some relief. So I did that, and then I went to, with the lady to uh, make another appointment, <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> the limp lady, Nancy, Nancy, shit, I might have to correct that later. Um, came out and talked to me and um, the, Christina who was helping me figure out when I could get back in to meet with Nancy um, the three of us were talking anyway Nancy said come with me and she uh, we went into a room where we could talk privately and I, she told me in an you know, tell me what's going on, and in a nutshell, I just made it very short and sweet, you know, 2019, 
fucked me up. I didn't put it that way, but that's how I feel. And uh, she said, well, anyway, oh, God. We were talking about her business and what she practices. And um, I told her that I do Reiki. And she knew then that on a energy level, she could tell me how to hold my hand, put her to a certain place and pull, you know, to move that fluid away from the clavicle is what she said. <laughs> Why well, I fuck up, I know. But um, <clears throat> I know what a clavicle is, but I don't really understand the lymph part yet. And uh, I told her that I need some education and some help. And then she told me that soon, I can't remember the date, but soon, within the next four to six weeks, she is going to St. Louis to get a certain certification in lymphatic massage. And I said, oh, <laughs> you can guess what I said. Oh, my daughter, blah, 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 blah. I said, I know they'll keep you busy from dawn to dusk, but if you might be interested in meeting my daughter and see how, you know, see if there's something that we can do together or you, you can do together. I said, it might be something from the universe. I don't really know. But things are opening up that have been stuck for a long time. And who knows where that might go. But nonetheless, I would be proud and it might be good for Meadow, can I give her your contact information? <laughs> I went to Natural Grocers last night and uh, followed up on my a nutritional coach session and got the, so most everything I need. Um, there's some things I don't have yet. But I'm putting that together. I've got Lena on board for a healthier um, diet. And we did that. That was wonderful. And then we went to Trader Joe's uh, because Lena told me that Forrest brought the um, bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, so we picked up some of that. I'd never actually been in the store, and I'm so excited. It's just like I'm coming out of the dark ages. Wow. I don't know where I've been. But I got a better idea where I'm going. Which brings me to the um, Memorial Weekend. And I don't know that I've told everybody, all three of you this or anybody, but um, ooh, Grace, we need to get a natural grocer's nutritional coaching session for her. But anyway, um, Memorial Weekend marked the completion of baggage that I'd had for so many years. Um, and so when I came home, I was exhausted, completely exhausted, 
but um, once I got built up a little bit, I started getting all these downloads of things that I might do going forward, and I'm so excited that uh, at the possibilities, and some of them are uh, social media, some of them are business, some of different, just different things, but um, it's, that's, you know, I got rid of garbage. I threw my garbage out and made room for new stuff. My God, it's beautiful. What else? I'm gonna pause it for a second, see what happens. I'm back. <laughs> um, another thing that I'm becoming aware of is it's possible to change our physical self. And um, one of the ways I'm looking at doing that is by <clears throat> I've got this leg discrepancy and I got I hadn't bought shoes since I since 2019 um, because you know I have I buy a pretty decent shoe a pretty expensive shoe and then I send it away to have a lift put in the left shoe, and that's another $80 on top of it. And being sick and stuff, I, I just have not purchased any shoes. So, so, so long that the company in Ohio that does my lifts left me a voicemail and left me or sent me an email wanting to know if I had needed anything because it'd been so long since I'd bought shoes and got a lift. So it's about two years, roughly, maybe a little longer. But um, back to, <clears throat> I'm uh, seeing that it's quite possible that I can alter that. It would have, I guess, be in the back, lower back, where the damage was. It wasn't um, that I was born with it, but um, I fell on the ice about 15 years ago, smack on my back, and um, that's how I ended up going to the chiropractor and uh, getting a lift which now I say that because I'm not I forgot part of the whole, the crux of the story I say that because all of my shoes do not support me anymore They're causing problems for my feet, and of course, you know, when that causes problems, it comes up, and so, um, I'm down to wear one pair of shoes, and even that's iffy. I'm going to have to throw all these out, and I'm wondering if I really need a lift. So the, um, I sent an email back to the uh, shoe lift guy and said, um, do you know anybody in my area that could check and see what, you know, what my current need is? And he mentioned something 
a way to check yourself but ooh, I can't pull it up right now I will um, if you're interested I can look it up and let you know just let me know if you are over and out <laughs>